Hi, thank you so much for joining me on this channel, Adult CSL Online Learning. I'm Dr. Hernandez Smith, and in this video, we will be looking at different complaint letters. This is Lesson E, Writing from Ventures, Level 3 Workbook, and this is Unit 3. Number one, before you write, A, talk with a partner, answer the questions. Number one, have you ever complained to your landlord or apartment manager? Yes, I have complained to my landlord or apartment manager. Two, what was the problem? Uh, the heater wasn't working. Number three, how did you complain? In person, by telephone, or in writing? I complained by telephone. I called my landlord up. Number four, what happened? The heater would not turn off. So the landlord sent a repair person to fix the heater says B read the complaint email this is from Luis Ramos this is his email address luis.ramos at umail.com and this is to Acme Properties info at acmeproperties.com subject neighbors and Here's a cultural note. When you don't know the name of a person you are writing to, use to whom it may concern. Here's the address, Acme Properties, 125th Avenue, New York, New York, 111. To whom it may concern. My name is Luis Ramos. I live at 156 South Flower Street. Apartment 3. I'm writing because my neighbors in apartment 9 are too noisy. I ask them to be quiet, but they still have loud parties almost every night. Because of the noise, my children can't sleep. Can you please tell them to be quiet? I hope you will take care of this as soon as possible. Thank you in advance. Sincerely, Luis Ramos. The problem is the neighbors are too noisy. He, he asked them to be quiet, but they still have loud parties. Um, and because of the noise, the, his children can't sleep. Let's work together and answer the questions. Number one, what is the email about? Luis Ramos wrote a complaint email to his landlord because his neighbors are too noisy. Number two, who is the email to? The email is to Acme Property Group. Number three, does the writer know the person's name? No, it is addressed to, to whom it may concern because he doesn't know the person's name. Who wrote the email? Luis Ramos wrote it. Luis Ramos wrote it. What is the problem? The neighbors are too loud and prevent the children from sleeping. Number six, what does the writer want Acme Properties to do? He wants them to ask the neighbors to be quiet. C. The complaint email. Let's look at the vocabulary. Advance. Because. Because of. Sincerely. Soon. Very. From Alina. Krasinski, a Krasinski at umail.com to Flower Street Management, 
info at flowerstreet.com. Subject, linking sync. To whom it may concern, my name is Alina Krasinski. I live at 156 South Flower Street, apartment six. I am writing because the pipes under my kitchen sink are leaking. Because of the leak, my water bill will be very high next month. The water is also bad for the kitchen floor. Can you please come as soon as... Can you please come as soon as possible to fix the leak? Thank you in advance. Sincerely, Elena Krasinski. Let's read it again, complete. To whom it may concern, my name is Alin My name is Alina Krasinski. I live at 156 South Flower Street, apartment 6. I am writing because the pipes under my kitchen sink are very I am writing because the pipes under my kitchen sink are leaking. Because of the leak, my water bill will be very high next month. The water is also bad for the kitchen floor. Can you please come as soon as possible? To fix the leak. Thank you in advance. Sincerely, Alina Krasinski. Notes. A complaint email should include the problem, examples, a request to fix the problem. Two. Write a complaint email. Use to whom it may concern or the person's name. Include the problem and example and a request to fix the problem. Use emails in exercises 1b and 1c to help you. For example, to whom it may concern, my name is Dr. Hernandez Smith. The heater will not turn off. It is very hot in the house and this will be expensive on my electric bill. Please send someone to fix it today. Sincerely, sincerely, Dr. Hernandez Smith. Three, check your writing. One, I used to whom I may concern or person's name. Yes. I included the problem and, and I included the problem and an example. Yes. I included a request to fix the problem. Yes. B. Share your writing with a partner. Take turns. Read your email to a partner. Comment on your partner's email. Ask your partner a question about the email. Tell your partner one thing you learned. This would be a great opportunity for you to write your own example of a complaint email. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this lesson was helpful in reading and writing complaint emails. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.